Someone wrote in and said, I'm wondering if it's normal to have pain during certain sexual positions. I noticed that when riding my boyfriend or being in the doggy position, my lower back really hurts, or sometimes I have sh a shooting pain and just have to stop. The pain doesn't last once I stop, but I want to make sure I'm not really hurting myself badly. What mm -hmm. should I watch out for? Uh, first off, go, check, go see a doctor. Like we are not uh, clinicians or medical doctors or chiropractors, nor do we play those on television. My name is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. I'm a sex educator. I'm Kathy Bartilli from theintimacydojo.com. I'm also, I do intimacy coaching. Yes. So whenever you have pain, you should go see a doctor. Yeah. You know, somebody who's qualified to kind of check out and make sure that things are okay and in working order. That being said, um, thank you, one, for writing in with the question. Mm -hmm. Two, for knowing that you should stop when you feel pain. Like there's the erotic kind of fun pain of like being spanked. And then there's like a... That, that's something my body that, telling me something's not good. Yeah. Okay, so good for stopping uh, and being able to listen to your body enough to know. And also for those of you who are on the, the other side of that and you're with your lover and they're feeling pain, have a time out. Like encourage them to have a time out because sometimes we think that we have to kind of like, you know, like muscle through yeah. it. And that's not Finish usually a good sex. thing. Yeah, yeah, that's not usually a good thing. Some things you can also, if the doctor says there's nothing that you have, they can't detect anything, mm -hmm. you could check to make sure you have enough lubrication because that will cause pain. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing, I, I had vaginismus for a long time where... Define your terms, Kathy Vartuli. What is that? Basically, the muscles in my vagina were in spasm because of old traumas and it can be due to stress as well. Mm -hmm. um, but some people have that in certain locations in the vagina, not the whole vagina. So it could be that, you know, kind of tune in, is it your lower back or is it inside? Is mm -hmm. it like the spinal cord or actually inside? And could it be that there's some part of your vagina or cervix or um, any, you know, is there something in there that might be mm -hmm. tight or in spasm that you can either pay attention to or get some massage or do some work to release that? Mm -hmm. This could also, it's not just for vaginas, but um, anything that's having to do with inside your pelvic floor. Mm -hmm. Um, so whether it's anally or just kind of inside things are happening and feel a little bit out of whack, like try to, f try to feel into and locate exactly what it feels like. It'll help you when you're describing it to people, especially mm -hmm. your doctors and things like that. Um, but you're starting to bring awareness and attention to areas of your body that you might have kind of just blocked off from whatever trauma or accident or whatever has been happening in your life. Um, I know for me, I had hurt my, my hip and, and pulled a ligament with some kettlebell exercises. And then I slipped on, on somebody's, um, you know, throw rug on a, on a very slick hardwood floor while having sex. And I kind of really strained my leg. So first off, get big throw rugs, rugs that don't slip on the wooden floors. I love your hardwood bamboo floors, everybody, or your marble floors, but get some rugs that don't slip. They're a hazard. Understanding what's actually going on mm -hmm. helped me start to figure out like, okay, so, so I'm injured and I needed to go get some physical therapy. And you paying attention, you might not be injured in the classical sense, yeah. but there may be some emotional stuff that's coming up from older things that you just never noticed. And now it's time for you to start noticing them. Yeah. And this can be a really good time to be really in communication and present during sex. You can talk to your partner about it or your partners. Um, sometimes, you know, we think we should be able to do, we saw it on the porn channel and they did it just fine. Um, you might find that that position isn't good for you, mm -hmm. or you might need support pillows. They sell different yoga chairs or tantra chairs or tantra pillows that will help you be in a position where I'm a bigger woman, um, being on my knees on top of someone, riding someone. It's harder because I have a lot of, a lot of weight on my knees mm -hmm. and it's harder for me to move my pelvis. Whereas with the Tantra chair, I have lots of movement and mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So some, some sex toy furniture can be really useful and helpful. Mm -hmm. And depending on where you are in your cycle and the kinds of positions, the pain might be coming from, you know, your cervix is getting hit yeah. or it's, it's just, it's the position itself. Or you may not be stimulated enough for that position. Mm -hmm. Like we, some, to be really turned, if I'm not really turned on and someone is in a position where they're hitting my G spot. That gets really painful really fast. Unless your G spot's really turned on. Unless I'm unless I'm really engorged and you know lots of blood flow there, then it feels great. Got it. So
So those are some basic things. Yeah. What are some of the ways that you kind of self-assess or check out how you're doing during sex and things that you do when you're in discomfort? Yeah. Leave them below. Thanks for asking.